Hello everybody and of course my name is Jazzy Bat and welcome back to what is for sure 100% going to be the last part of Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. This is part 30 and today we're going to be playing the epilogue which I didn't know there was an epilogue but we're playing an epilogue. So this is most, this is 100% going to be the last part for the Uncharted 4 storyline. Now if you want me to do multiplayer episodes for the Uncharted 4 game Tell me down in the comment section below on this video, I can do that for you guys. I've played it a lot though, I'm on level 17 right now, so... I've played it a lot, but, um, that means I won't suck at it when you're seeing me play it. But that is if you want me to play it, so just tell me in the comment section below. This will be the last episode, and we left off playing Crash Bandicoot again. I don't know, but last episode, we got a little bit of treasure from the ship, the ship blew up, we killed Rafe. Sam's all good to go, he's with Sully now, and we bought Jameson Marine, so, we're gonna go play some Crash Bandicoot now. Oh yeah, I gotta use these. I'm gonna try and do good. Gimme them apples! Fruits, whatever they are! I exit the jump, I gotta remember the controls, I forgot it. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Did I just get an extra life? I got an extra life. Oh, Boulder. Why do you have to chase me? Why isn't Nate, like, saying anything? I thought he was saying stuff before. Oh. I dodge him. Oh, come. Come on. What was that? That was a bunch of crap. That's what that was. I know the moving one's coming up. Come on. Run. Ooh. Dodge them skills. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Yes! I made it! Woohoo! Woohoo! Did I beat the high score? I don't think I did. Oh, so close! Darn! That sucks. Man! Ah! I thought I would have been able to beat the high score. God dang it, that sucks. I wanted to beat that high score. I don't remember this room when I was Nate. Ooh, look at that doggy. I don't remember a doggy. I don't remember you either. Who are you? Where are they? Where are who? Now I'm starting to get a feeling that this is Nate and Elena's kid. Epilogue. I think this is Elena's and I think this is Elena's kid. I am pretty sure. I don't know why. I don't remember them mom? having a dog either. Dad? Anyone? Who are you, mom and dad? Yes. This took a really weird turn. I did not expect this. Really, not at all. Look at that. Let's see what you got. Mom has weird taste in music. I kind of like this one. Which one? Which one, doggy? Is this the one? You want food? Okay. There you go. Here you go, boy. Good girl. Just this one. Good boy or good girl. Fine, you get another one. Alright. But this is the last one for today. Are you sure about that? I can keep giving you more. You want me to kill him? I'm just kidding. Hey, hey, hey I'm not that evil. No more! No more, 
more, doggy. Enough is enough. This is strange. What is this? We're sitting in a tiny cafe in the middle of a busy Havana street. Drinking what might be the best espresso I've had in my life. No job, no one chasing us. Retirement is weird. Good, but weird. Sam says, tell him to stock up the fridge with less beer before we arrive. His word's not mine. Sam is also reminding me that you lost the bet to both of us. Twelve months and counting with no smoking. And I'm in Cuba, for God's sake. That's how good I've been. Anyway, send the girls I love. Tell Cassie to warm up the backgammon board. I want my rematch. Looking forward to seeing the gang in a couple of weeks. Your pal, Victor. So am I, Cassie. <laughs> Look at these two. Sam and Sully. Aw. So, now that's telling me that this is probably Nate and Elena's kid. Which is cool. Good for them. Here we go. Apple! Part of your friendly breakfast nutritional breakfast. Uh, let's go outside. Hello? Anyone home? Hey. Where are you going? Where she goes. They live on a beach? What? So they must have moved. They live on a beach? Hi, That'd be so here I come. Just a few more weeks. See the world, help those in need. See the amazing sights of India on this month-long adventure. Immerse yourself in the culture as you explore Asian temples, barter and markets, and cap it off with a visit to the famous Taj Mahal. You also spend a week at an orphanage in Dehadran teaching English and playing games with the children. An exciting, rewarding, and unforgettable experience. Sounds boring. This is way cooler. Look at this place. They live on a beach. How cool is that? Now all we need is the rest of our boat crew. This is so cool. Wait, there's another house here? I'm gonna go investigate the house. Maybe this is where the doggy went. Doggy, doggy, better get out of here, doggy. The big monsters around here, doggy, doggy, doggy. You want to understand that? No, it's me. Hello? Anyone? Yeah, not here either. Okay, well, I guess I'll just wait then. Now this looks like a place where Nate might hide all of his little goodies. Oh God, no, no, I'm not reading that. That's way too sophisticated. <laughs> I remember that one. Hey, that's Elena. Oh, this is definitely my favorite dig. Huh. Strange. Very strange. Well, what's in the closet? You keep him here. Huh. Maybe something that you really shouldn't be looking at. <laughs> so goofy. Oh, mm. keys. Yeah, just keys. Do they go to the closet? Just keys. Oh. What's in here? <laughs> just no. Alright. <gasps> What's in here? <laughs> yep, it's where Nate kept all his good stuff. I knew it. It's a secret stash. Oh, the St. Dismas cross. I remember that thing. I was in chapter 2. Found that. Is that the coin? From Uncharted 1? A Spanish doubloon. Oh, yeah. From where? Uh, from a long ways away from here. <laughs> what is that skull? Kind of creepy. Kind of cool. I don't know what that is. That's not where you put it. It's not where it was. You put it at the wrong spot. Oh, this is his mom's journal. This is the journal that we got in chapter 16 of the game. Henry Avery. Oh, that's too much reading. Too much reading. I'm not reading all that. Oh. Henry Avery. Henry Avery. The Gunsway Heist. Wait, did you go looking for Avery's treasure? 
I did. I actually found it. Shake, shake, shake. Dee, 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 dee. Oh, that's the picture. Yeah, that's the picture. Oh, cool. So cool. Parmas Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Yeah. What's this? Found this on my old camera. Thought you'd like to have it. E. What the hell? It's Nate. It's Nate, Elena, and Sully. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? Hey, there you are. It's Nate and hey. Elena. Been looking for you. What are you doing in here? Looking for you. Uh, looking for you guys. Come on, we're loading up the boat. Ready? And yeah, oh, they look way I'll older. I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Why? Cause. Uh, I just need to um. Pack my bag. What's up, Cassie? Okay. Don't be mad. I said, don't be mad. Please. She said, don't be so, mad. What did you see? Everything. Nothing really. Well, just that photo of you two and Sully. With a bunch of Spanish looking treasure. And a shotgun. <laughs> yeah. That was what it is. This is bound to happen sometime. Maybe you should just tell her. She's not ready for it. Ready for what? All that crazy shit in there? Language. Yeah, language. Sorry. <laughs> but you guys are literally keeping skeletons in your closet. Or at least a silver skull of some kind. No, I don't think I'm ready for this. Uh, it's... Yeah. Come on, Nate. Me? You did all that other stuff. It's time to have a daughter. Yeah, it's totally time. <laughs> You don't even know what Wait, we're talking about. Really talk about here. She's just a kid. Not that kind of talk. No, 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 no. Not that talk. The other talk. Of the treasure hunter talk. Okay, look. If you guys were into some shady stuff, it's totally cool. We were part of the Illuminati. No, I'm sure. to know about it, right? No. The Illuminati is secret to everyone, even your own family members. Mom? Yeah, see? They are. Aha! Knew it. We well, were treasure let's hunters. See, um, for me, it started when this guy called me up with a scoop on a massive historical find. It sounded like a complete fraud. Yeah, handsome fraud. No, I hadn't even met him yet. She knew. <laughs> she knew. So this fraud says, "If you fund the trip, then I'll give you the coffin of Sir Francis Drake." And for the record. I totally delivered. <laughs> yeah, you delivered us into the hands of Indonesian pirates. So. Oh, come on, you know I had nothing to do okay, with that. Okay, guys, time out. You're saying that you were attacked by pirates? Yeah. After you found the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. Yep, right? totally. Yeah. Sorry about that. Shit. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Better. All right, so keep going. Sorry about that. No, yeah. Yeah. The sun is up. Boat's ready. Wind is just right. You want to continue the story? I say we do it on the water. Come on. Well, wait, what What Francis Drake look like? Was it gross? He wasn't even Actually, in there. He wasn't in there. It was yeah, just his journal. journal. Yep. El Dorado. Ah! That's the legend. Look at that. It was just a statue. A curse. Oh, man. Seriously? Yeah. No, seriously. The dead rocket back. Yep. Story time. Story time. Story time. So sad.
that was good. I'm lost for Lloyd's, that was really good. What a game. The adventure was amazing. It was fun. All around. It was just an absolutely fun game. I don't know if it'd be my favorite Uncharted game though. I kind of thought two was really good Uncharted 2. But if I was to put it in order, Uncharted 2 would probably be first, and then it'd probably be this. Uncharted 3, and then Uncharted 1. Even though I liked all of them, this one was probably number 2. This one was really good. I really liked it. Yet, yeah, good job to all the people who made this. Like, all the names are showing right now. Good job to all of you guys. You guys did good. Making it a phenomenal game. Ooh, the views. The views that was there that they showed us. The action, the story, the drama. It was just amazing. Oh my. What a game. I just gonna, I just want a game. I, I can't believe it. It is insane how crazy they did this one of the best games of 2016 i'm gonna say that one of the best games it is amazing oh my god i don't know how long this is gonna go for either but congratulations to you guys you guys did Amazing. All you people here. You guys did awesome. And just, I want to say a big thanks to whoever in created the idea of Uncharted, who came up with the original idea. You are like the best person on earth because this has turned out so, so good. So, the idea of bringing Uncharted into a video game, you are amazing. I mean, I would really like to see this get into a movie. Don't know how well it would be, though, but it would be a really cool movie. If they make it right. I think it could be a really cool movie. But can they top the graphics that they had on this? I don't know. Because they this game had some really good graphics. So. It was a really fun game to play. I really enjoyed the game. From part 1 to 30. I really enjoyed it. It was really fun. They never let me down on a dull moment. It was just all good. It was just all there. Twists, turns, action, romantic, drama, explosions. It was just all over the place, which was awesome. They didn't lose track of the story. They kept going on to the story. Puzzles were amazing. The environments were also amazing. Especially with like the ship like that. If you remember in the last part, I think it was part 29, when... No, 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 it was part 28, actually. Yeah, yeah, it was part 28. Part 28, we went to the Creepy Mouth Mountain that was on Libertalia. And when you when we kept descending down into that mountain, we eventually came up onto this, like, opening, like, this big hole throughout the floor. So you had to grapple on your hook to it and just fall down. And then you had this amazing view of Avery's ship, which was... Oh my god, when I saw that, my mind was blown. Like, utterly, utterly blown. Like, it was insane, the view they had. Like, that was probably the best view I've seen of that game, because it was just hanging on that rope and looking down and just seeing a huge ship there underneath a mountain. It's like, how crazy can you get? Very special thanks to Scott Road and Sean Layden. All of Naughty Dog's friends and family, thank you so much for making this amazing, amazing game. You guys are amazing. Amy Hain Haining for her contributions to the Uncharted franchise. Thank you so much. Thank you for being a part of it. Henry Jackman, great music. You guys, 
Nolan North, Nathan Drake, right there, Troy Baker, Samuel Drake, I know it has Joker and Arkham Origins. All the people you see there, they had a great role in this game. A very, very great role. They all did an absolutely phenomenal job. They did a good job. Worked really good. All the voices here, everyone there, good job to all you guys. You guys were amazing. Like, I can't believe it. And like, even the multiplayer in this game is phenomenal as well. Not just the story, but the fact that they added a multiplayer to this game, and then it's also living up to its potential, it is really good. Like, the thing they do, it's just amazing. I don't even want to know how long it takes to make a game like this, because it would take a whole lot of work, and dedication, and... It just, it would be, it would be a really headache every day, just to try and work with this, get everything just perfect. Perfect, just every little detail, just perfect to make the game the way it is. That's, that's what really makes this game phenomenal. It's just the fact that they take so much effort and time into making this. Making it as perfect as they can. With the music, the visuals, the gameplay effects. It just all blends in well together and that is really cool. That's a really good game is when you have... The visuals, the gameplay, and the, um, when you have the visuals, the gameplay, and all of the other special effects you have added to that, and they all blend in well together, that's what makes a really good game. Like, a really good game. And that's what I really think is really, that's like my three key things that you need to have a really good game. You have to have good gameplay mechanics, good visuals, and good storyline telling. And just special effects overall. That is really necessary to make a good game. So, because kind of like visualization would go with special effects. So the three categories I would have to make a good game. Story, gameplay mechanics, and effects. Just overall. Because that is what makes a game like Uncharted 4. Or any of the Uncharted games. 1, 2, 3, or this one. It They all have the same thing. They... Uncharted 1, the gameplay mechanics weren't that well, and then Uncharted 2, they brought it up. Uncharted 3, they brought it up a little bit more, and Uncharted 4, they brought it up even more. So they just keep improvising with the gameplay mechanics, which makes it a lot more fun. Like the rope swinging and the sliding down those slopes that we've had to do sometimes throughout the story. Or sliding down the slopes, jumping onto a platform, or jumping off, hooking onto a rope, going down. Those were really fun to do. I really enjoyed those. So, it was really fun. I'm gonna go and skip this, but thank you guys, everyone, so much who, um, thank you to everyone who made this game. You guys are amazing. So, thank you guys so much. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry about that, guys. But, um, yeah, so, hopefully you guys enjoyed the very final part of Uncharted for a Thief's End. If you guys enjoyed it, of course, please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below in the video, and tell me that I, wow, tell me down in the comment section below if you want me to do multiplayer for this game. If you do, I'll definitely do that. And yeah, so I'll see you in the next video, which will probably be an Arkham Knight video, or a multiplayer video for this game. Alright. See you later, alligators. Bye-bye, guys, and have a fan for besides today. Bye, guys.